Burkina Faso welcomes diplomatic ties with North Korea. But why? Understanding Burkina Faso's decision to establish diplomatic ties with North Korea. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that has caught the world's attention. Burkina Faso's decision to establish diplomatic ties with North Korea. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind this unexpected move and the potential implications it might have. So let's get started. On the 23rd of January 2022, a coup d'etat was launched in Burkina Faso. Gunfire was reported to have erupted in front of the presidential residence at the Burkinabi capital, Ouagadougou. However, at the time of the incident, government denied that there was an ongoing coup in the country. Several hours later, President Rachmar Christian Cabaret was reported to have been detained by the soldiers at the military camp in the capital. On 24 January, the military announced on television that Kabore had been deposed from his position as president. They added that the parliament, government, and constitution have been dissolved. The coup d'etat was led by military officer Paul Henry Sandilo de Miba. In response to this action, ECOWAS and African Union suspended Burkina Faso's membership. Sandeogo's rule was short-lived as it lasted only eight months, until he was deposed in a subsequent coup d'etat in September 2022. He was removed by another coup d'etat over his alleged inability to deal with the country's Islamist insurgency, replaced by Captain Ibrahim Chouray. Few months after the September 2022 coup d'etat, Burkina Faso announced the re-establishment of diplomatic ties with North Korea, naming Che Hui Chol as the ambassador to Burkina Faso. In 2017, Burkina Faso had suspended relations with North Korea in order to conform to UN Security Council sanctions over Pyongyang's nuclear weapons program. The establishment of diplomatic relations between the two seemingly distant countries has sparked curiosity and speculation across the world. Some reasons for Burkina Faso's diplomatic ties with North Korea include Economic opportunities Burkina Faso might see potential economic benefits from establishing ties with North Korea. This could involve trade partnerships, investment opportunities, and collaborations in sectors like agriculture, mining, or technology. North Korea's expertise in certain areas could be appealing to Burkina Faso's development goals. Foreign Affairs Minister Olivia Ruamba had said that the decision will allow the two countries to maintain exemplary bilateral cooperation in several areas. Balancing international relations, Burkina Faso's move could be a strategy to diversify its diplomatic alliances. By forming ties with North Korea, the country could signal its independence and willingness to engage with a variety of nations, which may help prevent over-dependence on a few key partners. It could be a way for Burkina Faso to distance itself from the West, particularly France, and explore new ties to secure its interests. According to Regis Haumpit, a pan-African expert in geostrategy, this is a way of asserting its authority by contracting diplomatic relations with countries that France has not considered. Non-alignment policy Burkina Faso could equally be embracing a non-alignment policy similar to what some countries pursued during the Cold War. By engaging with North Korea, Burkina Faso might aim to maintain its sovereignty and avoid being dragged into geopolitical conflicts between major powers. Cultural and Educational Exchange Establishing diplomatic ties is also a means to facilitate cultural and educational exchange between the two nations. This could lead to mutual learning, artistic collaboration, and possibly even tourism, providing a chance for people from both countries to interact and understand each other better. However, this decision by Burkina Faso does raise some concerns. These concerns include human rights issues. North Korea has been criticized for its human rights record, which includes issues related to freedom of speech, political repression, and forced labor. Burkina Faso's association with such a country could lead to questions about its stance on these matters. Also, we have a global perception that the move might be seen as unconventional by some international observers, potentially impacting Burkina Faso's image on the global stage. This could lead to questions about its motivations and intentions. Furthermore, there might be some geopolitical implications as Burkina Faso's diplomatic shift could also have geopolitical implications, affecting its relationships with other African nations, as well as countries with close ties to North Korea. 
In conclusion, Burkina Faso's decision to establish diplomatic ties with North Korea is a complex move that involves a mix of economic, strategic, and political considerations. While it opens up possibilities for mutual benefits, it also carries certain risks and uncertainties. In the coming months and years, the world will be watching to see how this diplomatic venture unfolds and the impact it will have on both countries and the international community. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses on global events. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.